just got back from the grocery store and we're still cleaning up. We're trying to get like, put all the decorations away so that we can, tomorrow we're gonna get out the uh, Christmas decorations and decorate. I personally like to have my house clean and like vacuum the floors and sweep and everything before I get that stuff out because before and after it's like time to like deep clean a little bit. So I've been trying to do that. We went to the grocery store um, and got some stuff for avocado toast. We're really excited to try this new recipe. Um, Steve found it, so hopefully it's really good. I'm gonna show you guys. I will put it below so you can try it. I'll let you know if it's good. Um, definitely been craving that lately, so I'm gonna jump in and grab that. But otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow morning because probably gonna hang out and just chill and watch a movie for Saturday night. All right, here's what we got. Love this bread. This bread is so good. We got some balsamic vinegar. We got some avocados here, a lemon, some cherry tomatoes, and some arugula. So, I'm gonna make this up. I'm so ready. I'm starving. <laughs> All right, here's what we got going on. We just cut up some, diced up some tomatoes. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Are you hungry? You're hangry, aren't you? Yeah, this looks, this is gonna be good. I can tell, I feel it, it's gonna be good. Looks good, Steve. Yeah, I'm so excited. Guys, this is a pretty basic recipe, but if you guys want it, it's not mine, we just found it, it will be in the description. So check it out. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go eat. See you guys tomorrow. This haul, we went out to pick up some things. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. This actually is from um, TJ Maxx and it's a coffee cup. The dogs haven't seen it yet. They got one last year. They used it all year. Inside are these little marshmallows with arms, but then they can like get in there and like pick them out of the little holes and there's three of them and they squeak and they are obsessed with this toy. My sister got it for them and they haven't seen it yet. So, um, and then doggy, we found these at Walmart. These are like little like um, biscuits and I can't say their keyword because somebody's already interested because I said doggy. But if I say their T-R-E-A-T -E word, they're gonna freak out, but there are these cute little biscuits. Um, and then I got just some garland. Not yet, dog, not yet. I got these little um, green garland because our green tree, I like a thick tree. Like I like it to be like really, um, like not see-through. So I got some more of this. And then these are so ridiculous, <laughs> but they're just these little baseball caps. This is uh, a reindeer. And then Steven's will be Santa Claus. And we're gonna do some fun stuff for Vlogmas, Vlogmas this year. Like we used to do the Whisper Challenge a couple Vlogmases ago and stuff. So we're gonna be getting festive for the holidays. Um, can't have a true Christmas without a candy cane. Casey, Casey. So yeah, we got candy canes. These are actually gonna be for some flat lace for Love Fitness Apparel. We're gonna do some Christmas theme like content. Um, but then I found this little guy. Thought this was really cute. I have a shelf up here that will need some decorations. Ignore the get well balloon. That's from Steve's hospital visit. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cute. And these are the ones that I found at the um, little thrift thing that I went to yesterday. So I thought this was kind of cute too. Really kind of digging that, this like arrangement. 
And then just got some Christmas candles. We got the pine one. It's just this nice like wood top. And then this one is like an apple pie sort of thing. So love these two scents. This is probably my favorite, but this is like a really fresh clean scent. And then, so we'll burn these like randomly, but this, I love these. I'm so obsessed. They're like a scented pine cone and it smells like cinnamon and it just smells so Christmassy. And so I was like, I need like a bowl or something to put them in. But I found these at Walmart and they're like kind of, they're like see-through, you know? Um, but I'm going to add these really like Christmas scented pine cones and I'm going to add them in here. And then I'm probably going to stick them in the different, like, two like one in each bathroom and then one somewhere else so that it can just like smell really good and Christmassy but look really cute and um you know just kind of like make the whole house Christmassy so I'm gonna show you guys that when I'm done but we are about to deck the halls I'm not sure this might we've recorded so much already this might even be the second video um but yeah let's get going let's deck the halls let's get this place really Christmassy up in here and it smells so good. It smells so good. the cookie <laughs> you don't like the cookie <laughs> that's a good cookie right on my bed thank you so much that's why we have this blanket down so the dogs jump up here they don't mess up our bedspread look it she's eating it on the couch <laughs> oh, no. Molly had a couple of her teeth removed this year. So I don't know if that's hard for her. Okay, we gotta clean that couch. That's giving me anxiety. We are currently decking the halls. Or trying. <laughs> um, gonna get that up. I like to do like a quick mop before I get it up. And then once put everything away, I'm gonna clean my floors again. I love this little thing. I actually got it at a secondhand store in Omaha and it's like a mint jar. I love it. And I put these sugar-free mints in there. So cute little things that you find and collect every Christmas. All right, good morning, babies. Good morning. <laughs> we just ended up with, um, sorry, it's still kind of early. Um, oh my gosh, why are you put attention? Okay, we started putting this tree up and this tree I got when I was 19 years old and I moved into my first apartment. So, <laughs> like 10 years ago. And um, it is, this half of the pre-lit bulbs don't work and we think it's too old. We went, Steve went through and tried to find every bulb. So I don't know if this tree is gonna work anymore. Um, but we did get, our other tree over here set up. We kind of got like the dog's little Christmas area set up, the nativity, um, certain things like that. But we're gonna get a new tree tonight. And we're gonna continue decking the halls. We got our little dancing Christmas tree here. But yeah, so we still got the boxes out, but we're gonna get that up today. And then I still need to do a couple more things shopping wise. But we got some of our Christmas stuff up here, some old pictures. This was um, New Year's Eve in Grand Rapids, um, Michigan. It was downtown. The ball, they were doing like a ball drop ceremony um, for obviously new, for New Year's. And we were getting married in February. So this was him and I like right before that. And I thought that was super cute. 
All right, so we just got home, worked late today. It's Black Friday season, so it's gonna, that's just what it is. We got this new tree. You guys, this is pretty dope. I will show you. It has a remote with like a color changing wheel on it. It's pretty sick, right, Molly? <laughs> Weebs, Phoebe, hello, stinker. Put up the Christmas tree. Okay, okay, attention. All right, she is up. I have like the wide angle on, so it's kind of hard to tell, but definitely taller. <laughs> um, all right, Steve, light it up. There. It goes. there. Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, now press some of the buttons. This thing is pretty crazy. It has so many different like settings. And then it's got like a color wheel on it so you can like change all of it. It's pretty. I like that it's colorful too. Can I see, can I show the color wheel? So, pink, go all the way around. You can slide around it and see the different colors. So you can like set on something. Pretty. It's pretty cool. Different settings. You can do white, colorful. We gotta figure out what all this does, but pretty schmancy. The halls are officially decked. We got our front tree. Fireplace. We gotta have the fireplaces going when you're in Hawaii. Around here. little decorations I want to put up here like some placemats and things and then over here it's a little crowded just because we used to have our living room farther back but blind girls need to sit closer to the TV so we have hi Molly so we have our new Christmas tree all decked out stuff up here and then we have our little like doggy area. I'm gonna like change these out because it just doesn't really match, but the nativity set. And it looks really cool. Oh, and right there. Last year I was so busy with work that I didn't have time to set up my tree. So I bought this really quick cause we were doing like a little friends party. I was like, I have to have a tree up. I ended up getting my stuff up last year but it wasn't until like a few, like two weeks before Christmas. But there's so many things on here that like just memories. Let's see if I can find one. I don't know if you can see this, but this, I went to my first Christmas with Steve's family and his mom got this for me. And this is in 2005, so I was really, <laughs> it's like a young teen here. And I played basketball, so they got me this. And I should've got so many things. This was our first Christmas together when we were married. Um, we got our Michigan bulb, grew up there. Nebraska, lived there for a while, loved that place. Gotta see. Being blind, it's hard to find these. And just see like the outlines, but we have like little things like that. Gifts with the dogs. Oh, and then my favorite, my niece's handprint. So cute. She has a bone. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, 